Well, okay, now you can come forward. So sometimes I'm in, sometimes I'm on. You're good. All right, so welcome to teacher training. Uh, you have your agenda, and we're going to go through each of the six sections today. At the end of each section, we'll take questions. Um, so please hold your questions to the end of the section. So I first want to start off by um, describing the hostess role, because every campus has a hostess, and the hostess is the most important person that you're going to interact with when you're on campus. The hostess is responsibility for facility maintenance. She's responsible for the setup. She's responsible for the teardown. She's responsible for all the cleanup that happens. She has an inventory of supplies to clean up things. Um, if you have a mess, if you need a broom, anything, she can help you with all of that. She's also the liaison between the tandem program and the church staff. So whether that's the pastor, whether that's the church secretary, your hostess serves as that liaison. She can help you with technology. Many of the classes, many of our classes involve um, online videos, our microscopes now have cameras, things where you're going to need to interact with a computer and a projector. Your hostess can help you get that technology set up. Each and every room will have a projector. You'll bring your computer, you'll hook it up to the projector. We'll have all the cords necessary to help you accomplish that. But your hostess is your go-to person for anything technology related, internet passwords, all of that. That comes from your hostess, and she'll probably have all that information printed out for you, at least your internet passwords, um, on your first day. The hostess also has a tote. She has a mobile office. Okay, that tote is filled with things like staplers, markers, um, erasers, whiteboard markers, cleaning fluids, uh, pencil sharpeners, you name it. She's got it in that tote. So if there's any kind of a supply you need, something you forgot, something you didn't realize you needed maybe for an experiment, or if your whiteboard markers just have run dry, um, that's who you go to. You go to your hostess, she'll provide that for you. She also has a printer on site. So anything you need printed out, you can work out with your hostess how she wants you to do that. Some hostesses prefer you just hook up that morning and run the prints. Some hostesses like you to email things to them the night before, a couple of days before. They'll print it um, when they get to campus, have all of that ready. So it just depends. Um, depends on the individual hostess. Um, your lab supplies are, supplies are also going to be stored on campus. We have large cabinets that we put in each of our campuses, and that's where your lab supplies will be stored. We're trying to condense our lab supplies this year into basically small size shoe boxes, one shoe box, one kit for each lab group um, so that we can keep it down to one file cabinet. One, it's not really a file cabinet, it's a big plastic storage campus, uh, storage cabinet at each campus that is locked. So um, microscopes get stored in there. Basically all those supplies are stored in there. Um, so your hostess will be sending you, if you don't already have it, her phone number, her email address, how she prefers to be contacted, all of that information. Um, she'll be sending that to you. Um, a couple of little notes about particularly the coming campus this year. Um, those of you who are going to be on com at the coming campus, we are moving to a different wing. So we are in the wing opposite where we were last year. They are requiring us to park up top and come down the stairs. So if we do have a lot of stuff like supplies that you need to unload, you can go to that other side door and unload if you're there early, before 8 o'clock, because the preschool is now going to be in the wing that we were in before. Okay, so they've moved us to the other wing. We will enter, we will come down those stairs from the upper parking lot and enter on that first door that you see, so we're no longer going to be allowed to enter in that middle door. Okay, just a little bit, a different traffic flow. We're going to be letting everybody know about that as we get closer. Um, Debbie and I just came from a meeting with uh, Chick-fil-A Leadership Academy. We are just thrilled to launch uh, Chick-fil-A Leader Academy as part of the TANDEM program this year. Um, it's a great opportunity. Uh, Chick-fil-A actually found us a sponsoring operator, a store, um, right near here in the Buckhead area. Um, because we have campuses all over this area, our meetings are going to be held in Buckhead. And they're going to be basically the first Friday of every month. Um, we're going to select between 20 and 25 students to be part of the Leadership Academy this year. Um, the selection criteria are going to be going out soon. Um, but it's a once a month commitment for the students. They're learning uh, leadership skills every month. Uh, Chick-fil-A provides all of the videos, all of the materials for us to teach and lead those skills. The whole experience culminates um, roughly nine months later with a big service project. 
that benefits impacts the entire community and it draws students from all campuses, all of our campuses, the entire homeschool community. Everybody comes together for this big service project. So um, more information to come on that, but the operator is super excited. They've never done this before. We've never done this before. So it's a great opportunity. And the great thing is students who participate will be given a half, of, a half a credit in leadership and community service. So it's a great opportunity to put something on their transcript, uh, some resume experience as well. I have a diploma. <laughs> um, now, Debbie, do you want to talk about the yearbook? The yearbook. Okay. Yearbook. This particular yearbook, I've been doing it for 100 years. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to be talking to the hostesses because what we'd like to do is turn this yearbook into a tandem yearbook. Um, and so one of the things I would love to see you do in your class or we'll get hostesses to do it is periodically take a picture. Take a picture of the kids doing an experiment or designate somebody or we'll get somebody in so that we can build it by campus. We'll have three different sections and but we'll have one section that has all of the class pictures like this. Not the preschoolers, we won't have preschoolers in there. But these are my high schools. You know, just like your traditional yearbook. Now the beautiful thing about this yearbook, assuming they don't lose this feature, is you can create your own personal yearbook. So this would be the standard yearbook, like Christine just has the standard. Mine, however, has another 50 pages in it of Dusty, stuff that Dusty did throughout the year. It has a personalized cover, and I've got 50 pages of 4-H in here of different things he's done throughout the year. So you buy the tandem one, and you personalize it, because we all do things academically with our kids that are outside of tandem, and you can actually put them all in here so you have one comprehensive yearbook for your student. So it's pretty cool. So Debbie will be sending out more information about the yearbooks as we go along. They'll be, she'll tell you how to purchase them, you know, everything you need to know, details to get the yearbook.